Hey guys, I wanted to make a video that was just a little bit more in depth explaining how to evangelize a little bit better. I hope this video helps you and if it does, please consider liking the video, subscribing and ringing that church bell. I have a new camera set up. Well, I have, it's an old camera that I use for my videography work, but I wanted to try it out for YouTube videos. So let me know what you think. Let's get into it. Living in this serenity, living in this serenity. Now in our church, the, for the past several weeks, actually the past six weeks, we've been going through this method called the Three Circles Method of Evangelism. It was come up with Pastor Jimmy Scroggins in the West Palm Beach area. He's the pastor of Family Church. I went to his church a couple times when I was at Florida Atlantic University going to college. It is a really great method that I really love using. So I'll put maybe some links to his platform and the Three Circles Method so you can see it yourself, but that's mainly what I'm going to be basing my teaching off of. So when you evangelize, it's really hard to discern what you should say, but this method really, really helps. The first thing you really want to do is to establish that God's design for the world isn't how the world is now. God's design for the world was perfect. God's design for the world was for people to live forever and to not have death. And that's where you would draw this circle and put God's design in it. But unfortunately, sin entered the world with Adam and Eve obeying the serpent instead of God. Because of that sin, that's led us to brokenness. I think we can all agree that the world is pretty broken. You can turn on the news or even just go outside, talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, talk to your coworkers, talk to your classmates. This world is broken. This world is super messed up. So we live in a broken world because of that sin that led us here. And people try to solve that brokenness through all sorts of ways. And there's a circle called brokenness and you have all squiggly arrows, all sorts of ways to deal with this brokenness. You have alcoholism, you have intimacy issues, for lack of a better word. We have all manner of ways of trying to get rid of this brokenness. But the only really way to reconcile that difference, to fill that hole in our lives, is to repent and to believe in the gospel. Now God loves us way too much to leave us in our broken state. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus for that. Since God loves us so much, he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to pay the price we could never pay. Now, a lot of people say that I'm a good person, I'll go to heaven, or they're a good person, they'll go to heaven, or maybe the inverse, I'm not a good person, so I'll go to hell, or something like that. Well, that's not really how it works. God's standard is infinitely higher than our standard, and we couldn't possibly measure up to it. All of the good works in the world are like filthy rags. But then there's a huge, huge redeeming factor. God sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, into the world to save us. Jesus came to seek and to save the lost. So our brokenness is reconciled with the gospel. And that gospel, that good news, which is the gospel just means good news, that good news is what leads us back to God's design. It recovers, it reconciles us with God and allows us to transform into the likeness of Jesus Christ more each and every day. Now, this was just a, a small smattering and maybe I butchered it, maybe I didn't, but I hope that framework helps you just a little bit in knowing what exactly to talk about when you evangelize. So again, I'll put some links to the three circles materials to people who have done this a lot longer than I have, but I wanted to use this platform to help you guys to challenge myself to get better at doing these things because spreading the gospel is not just a special task for some or a spiritual gift or anything like that. Jesus commands us in Matthew 28, 19 to therefore go to the ends of the earth making disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That is a command, that is the great commission, not the great suggestion, not something for some people to do, but a command for each and every one of us to do. If we love Jesus so much and we believe that he is the one, the way, the truth, and the life, and the one way to heaven, I think we should be telling others about this great news. Tell somebody about Jesus. 
Tell somebody about the great gospel. Make it personal. Share your testimony with them. Share what Jesus has done for you. Share that Jesus reconciles us back to God. And please leave a comment and tell me what you want me to go over next. May the Lord bless you, may he keep you, and make his face shine upon you. God bless. Living in this serenity, living.